The opening ceremony at the Stanley Leisure Centre Sports Hall set the tone for a weekend of camaraderie and friendly competition. Four teams, National Sports Council, Aquila, Polar Seafish and Fortuna stood shoulder to shoulder as the games officially began. This is the fourth year of the Falklands Games. It's getting ever more popular, I think, as we can see. And it's great to see so many people here spectating. So thank you guys for joining. I hope you guys really, really enjoy yourselves, get to know each other and get to know people that you otherwise wouldn't have played sport with before. So today is the opening of the fourth uh, Falklands Games. Uh, so there's netball on tonight, uh, four teams playing. Uh, sponsored by Fortuna, Polar, Aquila and the National Sports Council. It's very much packed over the next few weekends uh, and there's been a lot of input obviously from the clubs for those specific sports to put them on and officiate for them so I'm quite grateful to them for doing that. Well the rules are that everybody in every team has to compete in all sports or as far as possible uh, so it's really about building teamwork uh, and about getting people who don't normally play sport together and don't normally play those sports to get to work together and form teams that are um, that are going to beat the others basically. So it's great quality and that's what I love about it and that's very much an ethos of international sport is equality across the board and we demonstrate that fully in what we do with mixed teams as Mike says uh, and that's really important and also when you get people together in the sporting fraternity it's a great leveller uh, and it's a great way to bond and make new friendships. After the ceremony it was time for the first sport of the games. Athletes took to the netball court where a hub of fast paced action got underway. <laughs> Teams worked together to execute strategic passes intercept the opposition and sink shots through the hoop. <laughs> Players of all skill levels demonstrated excellent teamwork and determination. These skills they would have to keep fresh for Saturday, as competitors were literally thrown into the deep end bright and early the next morning. Teams hit the pool for the swimming event as athletes took part in a race, including a mixture of strokes from freestyle and butterfly to backstroke and breaststroke. Swimmers displayed speed, precision and endurance, with both junior and adult competitors making waves in the pool. It was difficult, it was uh, one of the ones I was not looking forward to, so the butterfly is always tricky, but uh, got it completed, which is always good. Just in terms of swimming, I suppose swimming is probably my, my better, better um, sport. <laughs> um, two minutes, so three, yeah, I'm happy with that, that's uh, five seconds off my, my personal best, so I'm really pleased with that. While some were in deep water, others took to the fixed school field track. Competitors were lucky with the weather as the sun shone brightly over them for the 100 meter sprint. Runners were put through their paces as they went head to head for the fastest time. The 100 meter sprint brought excitement to the track with athletes racing for glory. Chris, you've just done the 100 metres, how was it? <laughs> yeah, it was brilliant actually. I haven't done 100 metres probably for 30 or 40 years, but yeah, I really enjoyed it, it was great. The speed and focus on display were incredible, with many competitors making their mark. I'm still a bit out of breath from the 100 metres, but um, no, I'm pretty, pretty ready to go. Like, it's a beautiful day. Um, yeah, I think we're going to have fun this afternoon, so looking forward to it. I'm not a massive swimmer, 
So, so in terms of actual, yeah, yes, today doing 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 the event in the pool, uh, I was a little bit anxious about it, but I think I, I think I smashed it though. Tag rugby and basketball are not my favourite sports. In fact, I suppose I was thinking about it, all the ball sports: basketball, netball, volleyball. You know, they're probably not my better sports, but the cycling and table tennis and uh, badminton. Yeah, go for it. I'm not a massive fan of basketball because it's a bit uh, rough and. Uh, <laughs> rough and tumble but um, I'll give it my best shot and uh, yeah I'll see how I get on. You can bring your height basketball. <laughs> I think I'm an easy target to be honest yeah. <laughs> Although the weather was glorious there was no time for sunbathing as teams took to the new 4G football pitch for an afternoon of exciting football and touch rugby matches. I'm looking forward to this uh, uh, outdoor event especially the rugby because it's pretty much the one that I'm not used to play before. So it's a learning process for me and I really like the, the event, just like running and chasing each other and everything, so yeah. <laughs> it was a true test of teamwork with both seasoned football and rugby players and newcomers to the sports, joining in and battling it out in highly competitive but friendly games. We have uh, cycling. Uh, first thing in the morning at 7 a.m. from six kilometers, right? And then we have to do three kilometer run right after that. And I have to wake up at 7 a.m. to run, well, do nine kilometers. That is mental, honestly. Athletes were up at the crack of dawn on Sunday morning for the endurance run and cycle event. The previous afternoon's rugby and football matches proved challenging, with some competitors coming away with injuries and not able to compete in both parts of the run and cycle race. In terms of this morning, I'm just going to do the actual run. I'm not going to do the actual bike ride, just so that I can make sure that I'm kept ready for later on. But you've just shown me a bike, hey, <laughs> no, so that bike's not my bike. It's not my bike. <laughs> Participants' stamina and mental toughness were truly put to the test, with the running route starting at the Polar Seafish offices along the airport road, turning back around near the seafarer's mission, through the industrial state and back to the start line. Once there, they had to quickly get their helmets on and pick up their bikes, cycle to Figas, past the Lady Elizabeth's shipwreck, over Boxer Bridge and back to the Polar Seafish offices. Going against the wind, was, like, I couldn't catch my breath. And then I just took my time in the run, and then oh, I hope my legs will sort me out on the bike, and then I managed to get first. I've got big legs, strong legs, so I just pushed. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I don't know. I just kept my head down and went for it. And do you cycle a lot, or? Oh, last time I cycled was probably last year in the Falcon Games and I do a bit of cycling in the gym but it's not much. And in true Falkland style the windy weather made its presence known. Once you start running towards the wind you can feel it more for some reason and then you turn around and you can't feel anything. It's horrible. It's, uh, it's warm it's not, I don't like it. This year they've combined the cycle uh, and the run. Um, I, I quite like both of those sports, so I'm a bit disappointed they're combined because it means, you know, that's one less sport I'm good at. But um, yeah, no, it went um, really well. I think the run was good for me. Um, and then, yeah, the cycle was hard work. I don't really cycle a lot. Um, lots of big hills, so the thighs are burning a bit, but yeah, overall it was good. And you and Cecil were neck and neck. How, how was yes. that? Having someone breathing <laughs> down your neck the whole way? Yeah, he was using me as a windshield, so actually I think I did him a favour on this run. Um, but yeah, no, it was good. We worked well together as a team and obviously it was a great result for the team overall, so very happy. Having jumped off their bikes, competitors whizzed to the Stanley Leisure Centre Sports Hall to spend the rest of their morning turning their hands to bowls and table tennis. The short mat bowls competition proved that precision and patience are key to victory. Competitors of all ages took to the mat, carefully lining up their shots to edge closer to the jack. It's been such a good day. Um, so I've, just, I've came to one of the training sessions that they've had before and the bowl team have been amazing to kind of help us learn how to do it <laughs> from scratch. But yeah, no, it was like complete emotion roller coaster. Like we were 
we were losing initially and then it was like one of the greatest comebacks of all time. But no, it's really brilliant fun and actually the vibes in there are really good. Everyone's cheering everyone on, so I think that's the way it should be. I'm really enjoying the bowls. Um, we're about to go to table tennis, so this will be interesting. I think the last uh, table tennis table I saw was beer pong, so it's <laughs> a bit different. Table tennis brought lightning fast reflexes and pinpoint accuracy to the Stanley Leisure Centre Sports Hall. Players demonstrated tactical skill, delivering thrilling rallies. From juniors playing their first matches to experienced competitors, the table tennis event was a showcase of focus and finesse. Table tennis added a fast paced dynamic to the first weekend of the games. You've just done really well at the ping pong, well sorry, table tennis just to call it. Um, what do you think helped you to be so good at that considering you've not done it many times before? I think um, because of my teammate support and it gives me the energy to, you know, just smash it and things like that. In the afternoon, participants swapped their bowls and bats for Fosbury flops, javelins and shot puts as part of the athletics event. Over in the sports hall, the high jump event tested athletes' power and technique as they soared to clear the bar. Each jump brought about a mix of tension and excitement as competitors pushed themselves to reach new heights. Whether clearing the bar on their first attempt or making adjustments after a miss, competitors showed determination and resilience with every jump. Meanwhile, over on the school field, the long jump combined speed, power and precision. Athletes launched themselves down the track and into the sand pit, striving to outdo their personal bests. In shot put, athletes demonstrated their strength and technique as they aimed for maximum distance. whilst the javelin event required a combination of focus and timing to achieve impressive throws. Athletics isn't really the sport that I do mostly, but it's been all right. What's your specialty sport? Uh, swimming. How was that this weekend? It was good until Hayden Stanworth went and did it a second faster, so it made me quite sad actually. So you've got some retribution to yeah. deliver for next weekend? Absolutely. I've just got to make sure that I beat Hayden Stanworth basically, just in absolute everything. Whatever we're doing, there's usually somebody in the team that knows how to do it, um, and sometimes there's people that literally have not done none of these sports ever in their lives, so a minute before you go on we're having a quick run through of uh, tactics and rules. Um, even the shot put a quick lesson before we start, but everyone's getting stuck in and doing their best and supporting each other and the cheering and things have been awesome, so yeah, it's really good. I think actually the athletics is quite nice because you stay as a group and move around so we get to actually have a bit more of a chat together rather than being against each other. Um, but also the table tennis has been really good actually, we've done quite well in that and just enjoyed playing with different partners. Everyone's kind of taken on ownership of a sport, like whatever their uh, kind of main sport is um, and they've also been like it's not just been me going should we organize this should we do this others have gone we're going for a bike ride you want to come and whatever so it's been really good in terms of practicing but there's just never enough time to fit it all in <laughs> oh, it's, it's fantastic i think it brings everybody together old and young from all different sort of uh, walks of background it's like all sport really that's what sport does it brings people together uh, and that's why it's such a brilliant thing to be part of i think we've got a really good team good team spirit so i think uh don't want to single out individuals but i think we're all uh, all playing our part and i think uh, i'm hopeful a lot of my team i haven't sort of seen or spoken to before so it's been really nice sort of doing things with new people and getting to know new faces i think that's a really important part of it we've got um yeah, a, quite a young team I think this year. I felt quite old at the selection events, but probably older by about 10 years than most of the competitors. But um, yeah, it's a good mix of people. Um, we've got a good mix of athletes as well. Some are strong at certain events. So um, I think we're in for, yeah, we've got a good chance this year. So. I literally just finished my mocks on first day. So I finished that and then come straight on to it. Well, I believe that it's a great way to uh, make new friends you know, especially you get out of your comfort zone and interact with people you wouldn't have interacted with in any other sense. Like I've already made a few new friends already, it's only been two days. So.
but we all get along with each other and I think if you have that connection with each other it makes it a lot easier to you know uh, perform well since you can understand what each other is saying without directly saying it you know. It's definitely engaging people in sport and it's in like a fun and healthy way and like, it's not too competitive because it kind of plays everyone's skills and you have to work as a team so it's like you know, it brings out the good side of sport but it also uh, hopefully and I feel like it does create like a really safe space for people to learn about new sports. I'm just here, just here for the laughs, I think, at this point. I'm, <laughs> there's a lot of sports that I haven't done in so, so long. Um, so it's actually quite nice to get back into it. Um, but I'm absolutely knackered. I just want to go to bed. The first weekend of the Fulton Games 2024 showcased the incredible talent, dedication and community spirit of our athletes. From the pool to the pitch and the track to the field, Everyone played their part in making it a success.